In our first year of RVing, we've owned a travel trailer, a fifth wheel, and a motorhome. So in today's video, we want to share some of the pros and cons we've noticed in our gas motorhome compared to our previous RVs. Oh, and we filmed this video on the way from Williamsburg to Cookville while we filmed our other video. So uh, if you get a chance, make sure you check out that video too. It's something we posted just a couple of days ago. So one thing we absolutely love on our motorhome that we did not get as much of in the fifth wheel and the travel trailer was storage underneath. We've got bays all the way around both sides. You've got a pretty good amount of storage in every bay that we've got. I don't know that we've even filled all these bays all the way yet um, for our stuff because we went from the fifth wheel to the class A. The fifth wheel didn't have as much storage underneath. So I'm gonna say probably three to four times as much storage underneath this class A is what we had in our fifth wheel. Another pro of our gas motor homes, it's on a 26,000 pound chassis. We got over 4,000 pounds of carrying capacity. So our fifth wheel, it was pitiful. It was like 1,200 pounds of carrying capacity. You can't carry anything with that. By the time we added a washer dryer combo and put our stuff in there and like, we had nothing left. We absolutely love having pop-outs. I think they're totally worth it. it. Gives you so much more space. If you have a pop-out on each side, it creates this huge living area. Unfortunately, the one that we found um, did not have that, but we still have plenty of space even with just the one pop-out on the side. Our uh, motorhome and all has three pop-outs. We are not hurting for space. We absolutely love the space that it gives us. One pro on our motorhome that we didn't have on our fifth wheel or trailer, uh, you've got these awnings. I thought it was kind of gimmicky, but it's actually really awesome. You don't have to get on the roof and check for sticks, debris, that kind of thing. It just kind of brushes it off as it comes in. And then also our, our bed pops out, so there's an awning right above our head that keeps the rain from hitting that pop out. In our fifth wheel, there was no awning. So when it rained, especially it rained hard, it sounded like somebody was just beating a drum right above our head. So with a motorhome, one of the downsides when we went from fifth wheel or a travel trailer to the motorhome was there's not as many living area spaces. So <laughs> in our fifth wheel, we had three different living spaces. We had the kitchen, the living room in one area, and then we had a bunk room in the back, which gave our daughter her own room, and then we had a bedroom in the top area. So it was so nice having the three different living spaces. So I do miss having that three area living separation. With our gas motorhome, I'm gonna call this a pro. Having a small vehicle behind us has been better than having a really large vehicle in front of us pulling our trailer or fifth wheel behind us. We get you know 30 miles a gallon in this thing, uh, zip in and out of roads. You know, it is another engine to take care of, but the maintenance on it isn't gonna be near as bad as a large truck or something like that. Of course we have an engine <laughs> and that, which I'll go ahead and talk about that being a con, the fact that we have three engines to take care of with our generator, our motor home, and our, our, our car that we're towing. The gas is gonna get worse fuel mileage than the fifth wheel, but you make up some of that with a tow car. Another thing about a motor home is having two <laughs> captain chairs in the middle of your home. That was a concern of mine thinking, oh, it's not gonna feel very homey. It's gonna feel like a I'm living in a car, but to be honest, I've gotten so used to it and I actually love having this big window out the front of the motorhome. And these chairs, we actually just swivel around and we use them hanging out in our living room. So it gives us extra seating and it's not been like weird at all like I thought it would be. Con for our gas motorhome, um, it does not have an outdoor kitchen and our fifth wheel Right here in the back was where the outdoor kitchen was. We love that thing. Another con for our gas motorhome we've got, it's more expensive to buy than a fifth wheel. Um, it's definitely more expensive to buy than a travel trailer. One of the things I absolutely love about this one is the fireplace. <laughs> I know that it's not a have to, this is not a must, but this is something we really love and enjoy. It makes it feel so homey in here and we can actually use it um, electric and it heats. So if you're staying at a place that um, electric is included, then it's a great way to save on using your gas. Some maintenance. <laughs> I'm gonna say between a truck and a fifth wheel, 
compared to a gas motorhome, I'm gonna say it's close. I'm, I'm gonna say that maintenance, other than the tires on this being more expensive, um, we haven't noticed a significant difference in maintenance. We had problems with our travel trailer, we had problems with the fifth wheel, and if you watch our video, just a few videos back, we had, you know, we had a problem with our motorhome. We were stranded on the side of the road with a motorhome too, which is, well, it's good to have a tow vehicle just in case you're stranded somewhere. It was really difficult for us to find a family setup in a motorhome. They're usually meant for two people of traveling. So this had a large wardrobe closet. We took that out, put a bunk bed in it, used the bottom half for a play area, and it's worked out perfect. Hey, hey. you like your room? Not playing basketball. We spent a ton of time with our fifth wheel getting that thing level, motorhome we can be set up a whole lot faster with the auto leveler. We've got a toddler, so my wife can't always help me pull in or pull out of sights. You've just got a motorhome with a rear, a rear night vision camera. It's still not easy doing it by yourself, but it can definitely be done by yourself. That's easier for us to do that with our gas motorhome than it was with the travel trailer or the fifth wheel. I know for a lot of people, a washer and a dryer in their motorhome or their RV is not a huge deal. For me, it was like my absolute have to. To me, I just didn't want to be searching for laundry mats all the time and spending that extra time away from the family. And we put our laundry in and then in a couple hours, it's washed, it's dried. There's no moving it from washer to dryer when you're finished, it's all in one. So I just love it. Definite pro for our gas motor homes, but finding a gas pump. With our diesel one, we were stuck looking for that green handle or we had to pull in with the trucks. Gas one, I saw the gas pumps that were parallel to the gas station, so I just pulled right in and we're fueling up and we're gonna get on the road. A con, especially with a gas RV like the one we've got, it's a little louder. It's definitely louder than a truck. I've heard people say that a gas motorhome's so loud you can't talk. I mean, we, we can talk. It's a little bit loud, but it's not so loud. It's, you know, a huge distraction. And the engine is literally right underneath us. It's kind of crazy it's actually as quiet as it is up here. So our definite pro for motorhome that we like. You know, we pulled into a rest stop, but if we had to, we could even make lunch going down the road if we need to. Coffee, basically anything. We've got a generator underneath that can power the whole RV and everything in it. So that's, that's pretty cool. We definitely did not have that with our trailer fifth wheel. One con, this is okay for us. We can, I can get through here if I need to. But uh, you can't, once you commit, You've got to stay that direction. So if some, somebody was a bigger person, I think they'd have a hard time with this popped in, having access. You know, we can get to the bathroom if we need to and everything, but um, it's a little tight. Uh, another con is the braking. If you're going down a steep hills, the gas motor homes, the brake on them is not nearly as good as the diesel ones. That's probably the biggest downside to our gas motor home is the braking ability while going downhill. It's been a long day. Most of our travel days are, you know, around four hours at most. Um, and this one was 12. So that was a long day driving a gas motor home. <laughs> There's no perfect RV, but we think this one's pretty good for us. And that's, that's part of the journey is figuring out what's good for you if you want to travel. We're gonna get some sleep and uh, we'll catch you later.